Calm calm down, calm down. It was 1.68 kilometres, okay? It's only 1.532 now. <laughs> it's 100 and something metres shorter, babe. The gaps have gotten bigger. No fucking hope of you falling down in between one of them. Don't worry, babe. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get stuck at your big fucking toes. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life away? Oh, they're filming outside the cop shop over the road by block. Oh, yes. Oh, I think that was about that Kimmy Russ Adventures or something in town. Kimmy Russ Adventures? Yeah, stirring up it? the town last night. That's what, that's what it was. Well, I think yeah. it might have been, babe, yes. Yeah, so. Keep an eye out for me sonnies. <laughs> no way, sonny. Some bastard took him. Thought that they have a bit of Kimmy Russ Adventures memorabilia. Because Kimmy, she lost her um, sonnies yesterday, walking down the street of all places. Not out of a bike or anything, just off her fucking head. <laughs> Want a boat? Off my hat. Off, well, yeah, well, supposedly we don't really know. And I told Gimme, you don't need glasses, where we're we going today. Okay, so that's it for Port Augusta, isn't it, babe? Never no, ever. No, no, no. Oh, not Port Augusta, no, we're not going there. They've got COVID no. there, haven't they, sweetie? Yes. No, no, where are we going? Oh, where are we coming from? Port Piri, Port Piri. That's it for Port Piri, isn't it? First time we've ever been there. Had a beautiful big pizza last night, didn't we, babe? Oh, it's too big for us. Fuck, I know. We didn't even eat it all, did we? No, I think she gave us the wrong one. Ah! Oh. <laughs> She's seen Gimme Russ Adventures walk in, and she knows how much we like food, I reckon. She's thought, I'll give them a free upgrade. Oh, look at those beautiful mountains, will ya? <sighs> That's where we're heading. That's where we're heading. Across here somewhere. I don't know oh. where. We're probably to the left and we'll probably follow those mountains actually, I think, babe. We'll probably actually just go where Henry tells us to. Yeah. So and we're in our vests today. Because well, it's already about 21 degrees. And it's going to get warm, isn't it? It's beautiful. Probably going to have some fucking winging at me later. Oh, but I can't do anything. Oh, stop it. I'll be <laughs> off the bike then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. It's too fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna fucking collapse! Oh, please, I hope I don't sound like that. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> anyway. Home of Australia's longest wooden jetty. Oh, okay then. So we're turned, just turned into Port German, haven't we, babe? Yeah. We thought we might go in here and have a look. We don't know what's here, but Kim's telling stories back there right now. Well, it's um, home of Australia's largest wooden jetty. Right, okay. Well, we will soon see, won't we, sweetie? I suppose once upon a time it was probably a bustling little town. Yep. It's got the important pub here, though. Yeah. One church, one pub, one art gallery. Tennis courts. Rightio. We're at the end of the road. We're going over to the car park on the right, sweetie. Guys are bad, we didn't bring our hair nets. Oh, fuck no, they, yeah, they got hair nets on, babe. I know. <laughs> That's fucking, that can't be good, babe. Look at the jetty. Look at it. We're going for a walk, babe. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for a walk, sweetie. Port Germain is a quiet, peaceful and popular holiday destination located near the top of the Spencer Gulf. It is an ideal place to relax by the sea and take in the holiday ambience of a port which was once famous for the fact that it boasted the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere. Okay then, so we've just pulled up in Port German, haven't we babe? Yep. And we've just realised, what is it babe? It's the Australia's longest jetty. Wooden? Wooden jetty. Wooden jetty yes. apparently. So we're going to go out there and have a look, aren't we sweetie? Hop on that, I'll give you a push. Yeah! <laughs> we don't go far. I'm fucking serious. We've run out of track, babe. I'm serious. 
I it doesn't matter, babe. Do not doubt that you're serious. But... I reckon that would have been a old hotel or something at one stage, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm always serious, babe. This is why they needed the bullocks. Yeah, that would have went all the way along there once upon a time. That over there in the distance is Port Piri, where we just come from, I think, in That's the boat. strange looking seagulls here. What's that clock thing? Oh, I don't know. Kind of a look, what is it? Yeah, that's what I said, wasn't it? Yeah. This rare maritime object was an illuminated clock face tide gauge, circa 1800, originally located near the entrance to the Port Piri shipping channel at Cockle Spit. Mmm, very good. So that's a picture there of what it was like. I'll tell you what, guys, it's warming up out here today, isn't it, babe? Babe's not talking to me. Oh, sorry. It's warming up out here days in the boat. Sure is. Yes. We got some sculptures here. Yes, Crabs. I know, guy. Look at the beautiful blue day. A couple of clouds over there, but I tell you. There's crabs up there and I don't know. Who's got crabs? That pole. Oh. So as we warm up, it might get a little bit breezy though later. But no rain. Did you take photo of that? I didn't. Why, why, do, you put just your, got why do you put your camera away all the time? I want to hold it. You've got to hold it to take photos. That I can do. Well, well, well it's just a bloody statue thing. Okay. <sighs> why so long, babe? Because I reckon it's shallow, a fair way out. Yep. Port Germ was built to provide a safe port on the mid northern coast of South Australia to export grain to Europe. Prior to its construction in 1881, good, good from the area were taken out onto the sand flats by wagon at low tide. It was not uncommon to see 12, 14 sailing ships out there, babe, at anchor 800 metres offshore. So in 1882, the jetty was extended by 400 foot feet to measure 5,459 feet, mate. Is that how That's far? a fucker. That's 1.68 kilometres we're about to walk. Uh, no, so that's 3.2 yeah, return. Exactly. Now, you know what? It was built out of using local sugar. No, no, guns. calm down. Calm down. It was 1.68 kilometres, OK? It's only 1.532 now. <laughs> It's 100 and something metres shorter, babe. Oh. So you don't have to go to 1.6. wondering what you're fucking on about doing the math. <laughs> Come on, No, man. it's only 1.5 kilometres. I am not long. about to walk Come on, on something that's made from Come sugar on. and red gum. Look at, the, look at the bloody pizza we had last night. So we have to. We'll go the for The end more. of the section is closed to public access due to... Ca ah, it's closed. Yeah, yeah, that's the end. That's the last 10 metres. Oh. Come on, good. You should be able to keep up with me this time. Oh, because it's flat. Tide's out at the moment. Want to go for a swim? Get your gear off. <laughs> Getting it off. These people come back. Yeah, I'm advertising, babe. Oh, dear. Advertising the girls. OK, so we've just started walking on it. It's not far to go. <laughs> <laughs> About 1.4 k's. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're fair here, babe. That's how long it is, isn't it? Yep. Hey? Well, I think it is. I should have read no. the sign. Yeah, no, it used to be 1,680 or something okay. metres. Now it's 1,520 or 30 or something like that. So 1.5. Yeah, kilometres, that is. Yeah. No one out, like, fucking Jaws is going to come up and go smack and eat the whole thing. I doubt it, babe, I doubt it. Is that a shark over there? No, that's not a shark. No. Look at these guys. Will Kimmy and Russ do it? Will we be able to? That's, that's back there. So we've come, come... Nearly halfway. Oh, 150, 200 metres. <laughs> no, nah, not halfway, sweetie. Is it's that... an optical illusion how far that is. <laughs> well, really, babe, do you really want to tell people about the longest jetty, wooden jetty in Australia, mm -hmm. that said, didn't it? Yep. Yes. Do you really want to tell people about that? Then they say to you, did you walk to the end of it? Oh. And then you turn around and say, well... No, I didn't. Say, what's the point? But I'm telling you about it. That's right. Yeah. What's the point of going there? True. You know? This is what I'm saying, bud. It's all right. It's getting closer. Yeah. What do you <laughs> Steps to freedom and paradise, I reckon, babe. I'll go down. Are you coming? No. Why? I'll give you a push if you like. <gasps> She's only about six or eight inches deep. Even you'll be able to stand up in this way. <laughs> I know. Yeah. There's another one up there. Might be a little bit deeper. Yeah, maybe. Watch out for those little baby sharks. 
Don't worry about them, babe. Baby shark. I'll do, catch you. Do, 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 do. Oh, Jesus. Hey, guys, I hope, that, I hope it's not too windy for you. There's a little bit of breeze out here. But um, you've got to put up. Hey, to view good things, you've got to put up with things, don't you, babe? You do? Yes. Water's clear, though, isn't it? It is very clear. Very shallow. So that explains why it is so long. We, it, uh, we said that yeah. before. We said that you've been repetitive, are we? I said it now, you're just repeating. So you're being repetitive. You repeat all my good stuff. Fuck it up, old Rusty would hardly be talking, would he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rusty, he wouldn't be talking at all while repeating your good stuff. Okay. So I've left Kim behind. It is a beautiful day, though. Are you right there, Kimmy? She's not saying much, is she, guys? The gaps have gotten bigger. No fucking hope of you falling down in between one of them. Don't worry, mate. Don't worry. Ah. <laughs> oh, You're going to get stuck at your big fucking toe. Oh, that's funny. We're probably three, four hundred metres from the end, I reckon. So we've done good. We oh, yeah. have. Here's some more steps here. Come on, you haven't been down any yet. We're not playing. Yeah, we're playing that game. Look. As long as Jaws isn't coming out and about. Go. Don't go near me. <laughs> oh, look at all the barnacles. Hey, the ah. batch is going. What's wrong? What's wrong? It looks scary under there. Oh, Jesus. There's all things under there, barnacles and that. How yeah, the hell did she do the adventures we've done before, eh? Oh, well, no. it didn't involve going in the ocean. Well, yeah, I'm not telling you to go in the ocean, sweetie. You yeah, might as well have, because oh. if you're up here and I'm down there, you're going to push me. Never. I know Never. what you're like. Mind you, for good footage, video footage, I'll That's probably do it. It'll be like the Titanic. <laughs> You'll be going, bye, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> She's cool, guys. I'd never heard her. <laughs> hey, hey, so we're coming out to the end. We can't go all the way to the tip because um, they've got it closed off. A bit rickety or something, I think they said, didn't they, babe? It's dangerous. So come on, guys, give us a clap. Give us a clap, guys. 1.532 kilometres we've just walked. Got to get back, get it. Yeah, so that means we've walked three kilometres. Jesus Christ, someone's going to be ready for bed early tonight. Who says I'm walking back? I'll lay, lay up here and have a little sleep. I'll bring the Bullock team out for you, babe. Yeah, you'll need it. And they can come and get you. <laughs> you'll need so it. So that there is the end of the wharf there, where the uh, ships used to tie up. Is that a crab? Sunseeker tackle. Uh, I wonder what that tackle looks oh, like. I don't know, babe. But, okay, so we've made it back, haven't we, babe? Yep. Made it back. We did the walk. That's those sculptures there. I think I might have showed you on the way out. That's a crab, that one in the boat. It is. What's that one? Fish. Fish. That's yeah. a snapper, the one on the bottom. And squid up on top. Yep. That's a bird. Yeah. There we go. She's shipwrecked, that one. Okay, so we're back at the bike scene. And all done, and, and without the drama queen going off her head about walking or anything, it was pretty good actually. It was very yeah. sombre. We're going to have a look in this little shed here, babe. Sure. Family gatherings, weddings, markets too. They had everything there in them sheds. Oh, right? it's cool in the shed. Yeah, it's not bad in the shed, is it? Yeah, that's what I... They've used to have weddings, everything in here. Yeah, here are us adventures on stage. Do a dance, babe. Do a little Do a dance, jig. dance. Oh my gosh. She doesn't dance for a while, does she? She needs, to, she needs to cut the bloody um, tinnies in her, I think. That'll get her fucking dancing, won't it, babe? Yeah. Yes. Okay, hop back on the bikes now, and we're going to make our way out to... Where are we going? Ah, I'm not telling you. You're going to have to keep watching the video. Uh -huh, GoPro. Can't remember. <laughs> yes, I can. Uh -huh. uh, so we're just leaving Port German, guys, and we went for a walk along that pier, didn't we? Absolutely beautiful, them hills. Not a crystal clear day, but... I'll tell you what, still fairly clear. But this we're back into some curves. Instead of the state yep. roads. Very nice. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the country 
countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look at the sun. Give me back there, she's concentrating. I feel like a learner all over again. I'm going on twisty roads, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty good footing though, uh, pretty good road. I like the bitumen. A little bit bumpy, but not too bad though. Okay, so we're coming into Melrose now, guys. Oldest town in the Flinders Ranges, they reckon. So they tell us, don't they, babe? Yep. Melrose is the oldest town in the Flinders Ranges after being officially named by Edward John Eyre in 1840. This friendly and beautiful town is nestled below the stunning 960 metre high peak of Mount Remarkable, providing the perfect backdrop for many historical buildings and annual events where you can find something for everyone. It also has a heap of mountain bike tracks. Looks like, oh, they got trails here. They're mountain bike trails. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, I was wondering why I, there was a lot of bikes around. Yep. Hey, I've seen the sign back up the hill. Right, okay. The mountain bike town. Probably brought it back from the dead. The mountain yeah. bikes, they often so, do. Okay, so we've been travelling this road now for about buddy, 30 kilometres at about 80 kilometres an hour. We finally found some workmen. And we, babe? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the edges, we think, don't we? Yeah. We think. I suppose we better stop on the red signal. Yep. We'll stop before it. Here we go. Nice one, eh? Yeah, they're digging up all the verges and doing them. So I'm glad we didn't have to wait for heap of traffic. Yeah. Sideways chipper. Yeah. I suppose, really, when you look at it, these 60k zones, they really do suit the 103 back there. Ha <laughs> uh, ha you're funny. Yeah, they suit, they suit it down to a T, the old fat boy, the fat yeah. girl on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 60k. I do the best I can, babe. <laughs> yeah. not much of a, we... There's not much of a challenge at the moment, 60k's, is it? I wish we had a friend that rides a 114. Why is that? With us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to Wilmington, guys. This is Wilmington in the Flinders Rangers. Puppet Museum and Gallery. What was it? A puppet museum and gallery. Oh, right. We've got something might, here. Might be like Marawa. we got counter mills in there. We've got something down here too. Wilmington is a sleepy country town. The appeal of the town and the district is that there is a number of interesting panoramic views, both Hancock's Lookout and Horrocks Pass, and some impressive walking trails through the lower Flinders Ranges area. Right, so we just had lunch at that Wilmington Hotel. We got a, a $12 snitty, didn't we, babe? Yep. And I tell you what, with $12 snitty with chips and... Um, chips and salad there, it was fucking beautiful, wasn't it babe? It was nice, yes. Yes. So we've got the 38 odd k's to go to corn. Look at the beautiful Flinders Ranges guys. And we're going up to corn, South Australia. Corn is an historic town in the Flinders Ranges, which came into existence as an important railhead. Its location in the Flinders Ranges and its old style charm has seen corn chosen as the setting for historic scenes in the movies as diverse as Wolf Creek, Gallipoli, the Shirley, the Sundowners, the Light Horseman, Sunday Too Far Away, The Last Ride and Robbery Under Arms. It's a charming historic town. Just down around the corner virtually. Down the corner? Down the corner. So we've finally turned up to a town where we can go straight into our motel if we want. Yeah. Well, we've got to work out where we're living, I guess. Well, there's a motel on the right, but I don't know if that's it. Nah, that's not it. Nah. You said in town? Yeah, in the main yeah. street. Yeah. That's it, down the end there, I reckon. It's a very little town. Yeah, <laughs> that's it there. Yep. Reception at Family Bistros. Kimmy, are you there? Kimmy, are you there, Kimmy? <laughs> Look, just, just wait till I show you guys what we've got to do. 
No elephant here, but I'm just rusty. G'day guys, we're in Corn, South Australia, haven't we? And I've been wanting to come to Corn for quite a few years. It's a childhood dream. I wouldn't say childhood dream, but they've got a couple of things here we're going to do tomorrow. And um, it's not a real big town, is it, babe? It's not. What are you going to look at all that for? Well, I'm surprised we've got this modern unit. Yeah, we have got a modern unit. It's not a real big town, but it's a nice town. So, this is our unit. We had, well, I must say, I must say, we had, we only had to come about 130 odd kilometres today from Port Pirie, didn't we? And we stopped off at Port Durban on the way for a bit of exercise, didn't we? And um, they've got Australia's longest wooden pier there. Now, this pier is 1.68 kilometres long. You think Kimmy Russ Adventures did it? You know what sealed it for Kim? When I told her, wait a minute, it's not 1.6, it's 1.5. They've closed 100 metres of it at the end of it. They did. <laughs> yep, it was too dangerous. Well, halfway out there, by the time she worked out, it was a three kilometre round trip, though. <laughs> We walked all the way there. You will see. Okay, guys, this is our unit. Uh, I tell you, this is ultra modern for Kimmy Russ and Bay. Look, look at this. Look, look, look. Eat our boudoirs up there. I'll take you up there in a minute. Yeah. Oh, yes. What? Well, where's the fans, babe? Oh, <laughs> where? <laughs> and, yeah, and, and look, I'll just show you. There you go. Look. Look at this. Look. Our bikes. Look at this. Undercover. This is corn. Corn's been warm today, about 32, 33 degrees. This is the back of our motel complex. It's a little bit breezy out here, but it's not too bad. That, that's it there. I've got the key. I've got the key in my pocket. Babe, look. It, it never gets old, does it, eh? You know, the only thing is, when Rusty plays a prank, he makes sure he's going to get away with it. Oh, Kimmy? Yeah, she doesn't plan anything good. Yes. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, guys. I'll tell you. She'll bloody, she'll bloody learn off the master one day. Yeah, she on the door. Yes, we got a purple door. Look, look, purple door. Oh, I don't know if you see that. That looks a bit blue with that light, won't it? Yeah, it looks a bit blue in that light. Oh no, there you go. Purple there. Yeah, purple there. And this is the other units here. Yeah, this is our little courtyard out here. But anyway, I'll take you upstairs. Babe, come with me, mate. Come on, come with me, mate. Come with me. Come with me. Are you coming? Come on. Come on, babe. Step aerobics time for Kimmy. And we've got the old love nest here, haven't we, sweetie? And I tell you what, babe. It's a fucking comfortable one, this one. Oh, this is nice. Look. Oh, my goodness, I can go to sleep now. Yeah. Hey, that would not surprise me, guys. And look, we got the sun's gonna wake us up in the morning up through there. Right. Yeah. Right. It's ultra modern for Kimmy Russ. Kimmy Russ is normally fair. Hey, guys, you wait till you see this guy. See? That's the shitter there, right? That's the shitter. Oh, look at this. Twin fucking showers, man. We actually showered together. I won't tell you what else we did together in there, but we showered together, didn't we, sweetie? Fuck, you know, you're going to end up in that box, babe. But yeah, look, twin sinks, everything. Show my knickers. Oh, I don't know about it. But anyway, we've got to go. We're going out to tea. Down, there's two pubs in town. The lady said, we're here for two nights. One pub, one night. One pub, next night. That's fair call. I said, which one's the best? Sitting up, they're both really good. Hey. But I'll tell you what, the prices are too, aren't they? Yeah. We've got a 600 gram rump steak, chips, salad or veggies, or whatever. Mm -hmm. 30 bucks, man. 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. And we're out in the outback here, nearly, aren't yeah. we? And they're such honest people. The girl at the bar said Russ had to pay for his carton twice. <laughs> and she said, no, I already charged a card. Anyway, well, because we brought two stubbies first up, didn't we? Yeah. And she knew that we wanted a carton. Yeah. And he went to give her 50 bucks cash and she's like, no, I've already charged a card. And he goes, are you sure? Yeah, because it didn't cost... And she said, well, it never cost you $63 for two fucking stubbies. <laughs> oh, okay, I never looked at the F-Boss machine, did I? Very honest. 
Yeah. Alright then guys, gotta go. This is getting a bit long, a bit boring, Kim's starting to talk. But anyway, we're off, okay? You ready? You gonna say goodbye, mate? Goodbye, mate. Alright, bye, mate. See ya. Okay, so. <laughs> We went out for tea, took Kim out for a nice romantic night tonight, didn't we? <laughs> Not by choice. That's the pub we went to. Yep, power's gone out. Oh, yeah, that's us unseen <laughs> over <laughs> there. <laughs> in the... Anyway, we're going to go home, put some more stubbies in the freezer. What's this weather doing? It's going across Look. the sky. Look at it. Yeah, that's OK. The sun's going down, babe. All right. Yeah, oh, so just... we're going to go home and put some stubbies, more stubbies in the freezer while it's cold, aren't we? That means our freezer's... Apparently it's going to be out till midnight. Oh. OK. So and it there. happens... GoPro. A couple of times a week. No, a couple of times a month, they reckon. Oh, a month. Yeah. All right. Midnight. Midnight, then. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together